new developments in that California prison escape. Police have made several arrests connected to the case, but the three fugitives are still on the loose. And this morning, ABC's Kana Whitworth takes us inside the maximum security jail for an exclusive first look at how the prisoners may have escaped. Good morning, Kana. Yeah, George, good morning to you. So authorities are saying that more arrests are imminent. And as you mentioned, we were given exclusive access inside the jail and on the roof. And there we learned more about the details in these court documents. Things like deputies finding inmate issue sandals on the roof and a blanket in a tree. This morning, ABC News, the first, taking you inside the maximum security jail where these three allegedly violent criminals escaped seven days ago. Overnight, authorities making multiple arrests in connection with the search. So are these people that are affiliated with this gang? Some of them are, not all of them, but certainly that's where we've been placing a focus. But Jonathan Tiu, Hossein Nayari, and Bakhtin Young remain at large. Authorities say the fugitives cut and moved aside that barbed wire, then anchored their ropes to the wall right there and rappelled down the building. Court documents obtained by ABC News shedding new light on the elaborate escape. Authorities say the prisoners sawing through a door to the plumbing system, then fashioning a rope sling so they could pull themselves up into the ventilation tunnels. How the daring escape happened without being noticed, still unexplained. They had to have tools to do that. And so we're still investigating where and how they got those tools uh, because it's very obvious it's not something that they could have manufactured inside the jail. Sheriff Hutchins believes Hossein Nayari, whose alleged crimes of attempted murder and torture are well documented, was the mastermind of the escape. He obviously was calculating a way to get out of this jail. Jonathan Tu and Beck Young stand accused of murder and attempted murder. Authorities say they have gang ties. Overnight, new photos of Young showing tattoos and markings. Investigators now pressing Vietnamese communities for information, hoping the $200,000 reward will help. If there's some fear in the community. I also wanted to reassure them that we're doing everything we can to get these individuals back into custody. The sheriff also saying that this is her worst nightmare to have someone escape from her jail. And one of the biggest questions moving forward in this investigation is how these inmates got their hands on the tools they used to cut themselves out. Amy. All right, Kana, thank you so much.